of the Enfield. Woohoo! Swing it in, baby! I've got a theory on the helmet wind noise and it relates, not surprisingly, to the screen by being very scientific. I've come to the conclusion, although it's sort of 40 miles an hour, it is not conclusive, but, well, 99% conclusive, I suppose it is. I need to go a little bit faster, really, but it appears by just sitting more upright in the seat, thus, and dropping down to normal, and then going down a bit. The wind has been deflected off the top of the screen, roughly towards the top of the helmet. Hence, no buffeting. Not at 40 mile an hour, anyway. Sort of skimming off the top, but you're still getting the noise. So, I'll see how much worse it gets once we've had the first service and I can do 50 mile an hour. And then, uh, trial again, and then I'll probably use the second holes on the mounts for the screen which effectively pushes the screen forward perhaps half an inch and thus throwing the air up off the screen a little bit higher up so we're going to try that I do like the look of this small screen I haven't seen the large screen yet although I have been told by a couple of dealers that there is one due at some point. Anyway, we want a bit of an emergency run en route because I've had no breakfast and I've got no dinner either. So let's hope we can park. Now I know I should have gone there, but let's try and get a bit closer. Oh yes, luck is indeed with me today. Emergency avoided. I'm a sucker for one of them, even though it's got cucumber on it. I something for tea. Yeah, that'll do. Handy things, panniers. Well, I was going to go straight on, but it's looking like it's a bit mad. Straight into Brum. Have different routes for different times, and when you get bored of that route, which is like every other day. T140D or E, Triumph. I like those with round tank mag wheels, but I don't like pull back bars. More something like, well, like, like these really, I suppose. Not quite as wide, of course. I've been reading on parts of the web that one or two people think that their Himalayans have been running hot, especially in traffic. Well, bear in mind, folks, that they are essentially still air cooled with an oil cooler as well. So if you're stuck in traffic and it's ticking over on a day like today, especially if you're not used to, uh, well in some ways, older technology, then it may seem hot, but it generally isn't. The hottest thing I ride is my Triumph, and that's a triple, with a fairing on I suppose, it does uh, throw the heat back at you a bit. It being air-cooled, if you are stuck in traffic for a long time, well, you know, five ten minutes switch off but Webley has been fine we've had three days of very warm weather uh, well over 20 probably 25 or so saying 27 at the moment down there I was catching up on the racing so far this year on the web yesterday seeing what was what who won what and I noticed that Guy Martin will be racing again this year in classic road racing in Northern Ireland and he's going to be racing a BSA of some description Oh, evil con evil <laughs> See how many vans I can clear This bike was built for this road Occasionally on this road there is a bit of road between potholes to see an MG about. Light one too. Not so pretty perhaps with the 
big black bumpers on them, but uh, still nice to see. <laughs> Another road that requires the use <laughs> of a Himalayan. I wouldn't say it's pothole, it's just one pothole about two miles long. Apparently, I've got a service light on. The little spanner thing's flashing, I think it's a spanner. Maybe it's because I'm close to the 300, I don't know. I shall have a look in the book later. Funnily enough, actually, that uh, test ride one I had on, that's got a spanner flashing at me. I asked about it, you know, we've got to knock that off or something. But that one had done 300, so maybe it is. But there's no obvious uh, fault, there's no uh, engine fault light or anything like that. So it must be just the service interval thing you be We do have a goodly amount of engine braking with Webley. Perhaps not quite as much as Smelly, but not far off. Coming down that hill, no throttle on, holding 40. 